Hi, and welcome to episode 34 of One Game Dead. I am the proverbial One Game Dead, Gregory Plachey. Thanks for, uh, well, tuning in and watching or listening to this episode, wherever you may find it. <sighs> um, the wife is away, the kid is at Doggis, or daycare. And I honestly, uh, feel like uh, I, I, I'm not quite bored, but I'm just I'm <sighs> What's the term? I'm Yeah. Just looking for more out of uh the game. Or out of my games from my stories like none of them are doing anything surprising or interesting at the moment and I do go to games for uh, for the story uh, uh, no I didn't want to airdrop I, I I come here to experience things, but they're just time and time again not taking any chances. And I know I should play more of Oxen Free, and I got um, Night in the Woods, and I should play that. But there, there are times where it's really. Not hard, but it's just like, motivating myself to It, motivating myself to play them can be a little difficult. And that's all on me. And I... I just... Uh, I mean, they are such a commitment, too, in that I find myself unable to play for short periods of time, which is a shame, because... It's something I have to do, um, given the nature of... Well, my situation, this... At times, recording as I am now is the longest I get in a single play session. Which sucks. Uh, it's not what I... It's not what I want. It's... Yeah, I just, I mean, even, even some of the books I'm reading right now aren't terribly... God damn, that's a big sign. Keep at it. 
doing it for me. And... I, what am I trying to say? I am, I I'm not bored, but I just I'm wanting to be surprised. I'm wanting the narratives to do something interesting, to have a message, to try something. And I now know about the ending of Far Cry 5, which I'm currently playing, and it says nothing. about what's currently it's it says absolutely nothing it's just meant to be shocking provocative for the sake of being shocking and provocative and it's boring in that way like not that I ever expected this to have a surprising ending um, or something to truly for it to say anything so it's yeah I mean I'm not gonna spoil the ending for you that's Turns out I failed the mission, and I wasn't even... What? Oh, come on. I hadn't even started it. Oh, boy. Mm. I, this is part of why I want to... Right. I, yeah, I want to write because, yes, I am conceited enough to think I can do better. And... Yeah, I just... I mean, of course, there's always... Issues with anything like that. The land's the same. Little things are different. No hitchhikers. You always see some of them. Is, uh, I mean, creating anything is. Oh 
Wow. I really like this ranch. Maybe now I can buy it on the cheap. Cre creating anything, particularly on a team, is a matter of uh, constraints and compromises and time and energy and money. And. Yeah, it's just... It, it... I don't expect to... I, I, I don't expect to do... Or be the most amazing creator, but I want to be someone that tries, that pushes for narrative from the very beginning to be of vital importance because so often I feel like it's sidelined with for systems. Um, systems that aren't saying anything, aren't doing anything. Like, there's this idea that in game design you're designing for a feeling, but to explore that... Doing it. I'll hit that. So it's Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of game creators, because they don't think about narrative, are, or it, it's a secondary thing for them. Again, that's really presumptuous of me to say, but these are... Things I think about, things I notice. Um, you know, like, here's a game that had a potential for a really interesting narrative. And what happens? The advertisements do more than 
this does. They, they're, they're so afraid of offending people in the game that they'll just... Want to get your mind blown? Try this game. The Kellets were good people. It's a shame what happened to them. But God works in mysterious ways, and thanks to you, Evenskate will no longer... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I just find it really... Uh, so it's this is stuff I've been thinking on, and I'm working on a small potential project with a group of people that could become a game. Now the type of stuff I'm really interested in, but it gets me writing, gets me working with people, and I have just signed for my desk in Games Factory, which will be is this co-working space for games. So hopefully I can find jobs and others. It's Thanks for looking out for us. Um, just all stuff I think about, all stuff I concerned with. Because I and here I am wanting to play games. Like when I'm tired I want to play something. Uh, when it's been a long day, I want to relax with a game, but I'm finding myself not finding anything I want to play. And that... That sucks. And I just... don't understand why or what I can do to improve that uh, I mean it's yeah yeah It's not quite a sad state of affairs, it's just the nature of things. But it's... I... yeah. I, I, I don't know... what to play. There are games I'm looking forward to that are meant to come out this year. Um, no Man's Sky, not that I expect that to actually have much of a story based on previous. The second these Peggy's got out of uh, and previous reviews, even though they've been working on it. And then there's... Then there's, uh, you got well. some Peggy Dingleberries on your ass, kiddo. I gotta love that killing feeling. Uh, there's rattlesnakes somewhere over here. I can't wait for this chapter. 
Yeah, it's. I know I'm rambling. I'm always rambling. I'm never making much, saying much, or making much sense when I. Uh, yeah, and when I get on, I just sort of. I just sort of say what comes to mind, and then I get distracted by... Combat or something else. Uh, makes me an excellent streamer, doesn't it? trying to find this mine entrance. So it's meant to be here. In other news, the wife is away Always pack an extra for a week. No matter what, you never know when you'll need to keep your feet warm or just make an impromptu ball gag. <laughs> of course, there's always. Some of the bliss. Am I going the wrong direction? No, I can't be. No, I get it. I meant to blow it up. Like so. Yeah, so, yeah. sorry, I'm not saying much, not that I ever do. But, uh... I guess I should call this episode over because I've really run out of things to say. Yeah.
And I've gotten really boring. But, uh... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> Thanks for watching and listening. I'm Gregory Plachey, the proverbial one game dad. Everything I do can be found at onegamedad.com. Uh, yeah, this show, as always, can be found on um, Twitch and YouTube and iTunes. And I, oh, well, can be found on Twitter and Patreon at One Game Dad. And the show, it, as always, is hosted by Third Culture Kids, which can be found at thirdculturekids.com or dot net, dot net. Yeah. Thanks again. And I'll see you on the ne next episode. Bye for now.